today's morning minute. Kingdom living is living above dis, dis, disappointments. Everyone has disappointments. How you handle disappointments will determine your ultimate destiny. Synonyms for disappointments are dissatisfaction, frustration, sadness, regret, dismay, and sorrow. Disappointment is missing, is missing your appointment, your appointment or assigned vision and purpose in life. God knew you before the foundation of the earth. And we read in Ephesians chapter one, verses four to six. And he chose us, he chose us to be his very own, joining us to himself even before he laid the foundation of the universe. Because of his great love, his great love, he ordained us so that we would be seen as holy in his eyes with an unstained innocence. For it was always his perfect plan to adopt us as his delightful children through our union with Jesus, the anointed one, so that so that his tremendous love that cascades over us would glorify his his grace for the same love he has for his beloved one, Jesus, he has for us. And this unfolding plan brings him great, 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 great pleasure. The kingdom of God living does not dis disappoint. Only the world system brings dis disappointment. People, family, business, associates, friends, ministers, teachers, children, siblings, and your spouse may dis disappoint you. Money will dis disappoint you. Success in this world will disappoint you. Yet God's hope, God's hope, God's hope will not disappoint you. If you keep rehearsing your disappointments in your mind, they can become a demonic stronghold. You become subject to the negative thinking and totally, totally miss the mark of God's will for your life. You focus on the mistake more than your identity in Christ Jesus. You can allow these disappointments, these disappointments to define your identity versus kingdom living. And we read in Romans 5, verse 5 in the, in the, in the Passion Translation, and this hope is not disappointing fantasy because we can now experience the endless, the endless love of God cascading in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who lives in us. And in Psalms 25, 5, 22, 5, they cried to you and were delivered. They trusted and leaned on and confidently relied on you and were not ashamed or confounded or disappointed. And we read in Romans 10, verse 11, for the scriptures encourage us with these words, everyone who believes, believes in him, will never, never be disappointed. And in Psalms 55, verse 22, cast your burden on the Lord, releasing the weight of it, and he will sustain you. He will never allow the consistently righteous to be moved, made to slip, fall, or fail. What a great promise. What a great promise from God to cast your disappointments on the Lord. He will never allow the consistently righteous to fall or fail. Kingdom living, kingdom living is living above disappointment. Amen and amen.